Hi, I'm Michelle, one of the wildlife rehabilitators at the Philadelphia Metro Wildlife Center. We're presenting this video today about the spotted lanternfly. More specifically, some of the methods that people are using to control the pest, but are in fact catching non-target animals like wild birds, woodpeckers, flying squirrels, and bats. By now, we are all aware of the spotted lanternfly. As a result, manufacturers have brought products to the market to try to address the problem. The most well-known of these is the sticky tape that is wrapped around the trees. Unfortunately, these traps are so sticky that many non-target wild animals are being seriously hurt or killed by being ensnared by them. At our wildlife center, we are receiving so many animals who have been hurt, mostly birds like woodpeckers, but also mammals like flying squirrels, gray squirrels, and bats. The paper is so sticky that we even had a large red-tailed hawk stuck to a trap. Birds and mammals have their skin ripped off and their bones broken. We received a woodpecker who had his tongue ripped out. Another rehabilitator received a bat who chewed through his own wing bones trying to escape. There are other methods though used to control this insect. One is to use a shop vac and simply vacuum them off the tree. Dawn dish detergent and water in the reservoir will ensure they are killed. There are also organic insecticidal soaps that work. However, if you must use the sticky paper, there are simple ways to modify it so our wildlife is not harmed. In this demonstration, we have used a piece of paper around the tree as a stand-in for the sticky trap. Simply wrap a larger piece of hardware cloth around the trap, securing it with cable ties, leaving about an inch gap. A Y junction of a tree, like here, makes it easier to hold the hardware cloth. Hardware cloth is not a cloth, but a strong, galvanized metal wire screen you can buy at any hardware store. You can also place the sticky traps in an old birdcage or any other wire structure. If you do find an animal stuck to one of these traps or any other sticky substance, do not try to remove the animal yourself. Cut the animal down from the trap. Apply paper or paper towels to any exposed sticky parts so the animal doesn't become further ensnared. Put the whole thing, animal and all, in a dark, quiet box and keep it away from children and pets. Call us or your local wildlife rehabilitator. Do not use oil or any other substance to try to remove the animal. Many animals who could have been saved are actually killed by the oil or the stress of being put through that. If you have questions about this or any other wildlife issue, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you for helping us protect our wildlife.